remember way, way back when Jon Stewart used to have this show where he mocked partisan hack media by ironically being a hyper-partisan hack, which he always explained was different when he did it because he's a comedian, but it was sometimes funny because he had good writers. Well, <laughs> he ain't funny no more and has become a part of the very corrupt media he used to supposedly be against. So this time he's appearing on the far left Democrat party state media operation known as CNN to baselessly demonize Republicans with nobody to push back and with absolutely nothing intentionally funny to laugh at. After I show you this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Noble Gold Investments has made it their mission to stay on top of the most important economic news. Three bank runs in less than a week. These are the second largest and third largest bank runs in history. The government is taking steps to guarantee all deposits. That means more money printing. That's why securing your financial future with a silver IRA from Noble Gold Investments is such a brilliant idea. This month, every qualifying IRA of $20,000 or higher comes with a magnificent Silver Eagle bullion coin. Visit noblegoldinvestments.com to learn more and make sure to let them know Drone Tech sent you. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments. And remember, there's always risk in investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. So nowadays, when you watch Republicans campaign against Democrats, they don't campaign much on what they used to, which was, you know, the Democrats were big spenders or whatever, you know. What, no. It's all about critical race theory sure. and it's all this cal cancel culture stuff. Yes. No. The biggest problem. Why does it work and what should the what should Democrats do? Do you, are they falling for a bait in doing this? What are you talking about? And talking about these issues. Uh I mean I I don't know if they're falling for a bait, but I mean I think again I I, I don't even think half of the Republicans that do it even mean it. F you Stuart Instead of an actual argument, he just proclaims that Republicans don't actually believe what they say they do. It's so typical and childish of leftists like Stewart to accuse their opposition of not believing in what they advocate for. Okay, so Jon Stewart doesn't actually believe in what he advocates for. If both sides just do this, you get absolutely nowhere. It's a cheap tactic, which he can get away with because they purposely didn't put anybody else on the show that could push back against Stewart's bullshit. But nowadays, when you watch Republicans campaign against Democrats, they don't campaign much on what they used to, which was, you know, the Democrats were big spenders or whatever, mm. you know. What, it's all about critical race theory sure. and it's all this cal cancel culture stuff. Yes. Look, I'm not a Republican lapdog over here, but they do campaign on many issues, including Biden's failure in Afghanistan, the economy, the supply chain, the border, his inability to handle Russia and China, his anti-American oil energy independence policies, and his general inability to string together coherent sentences. The Republicans have also been trying to warn about the coming insolvency of Social Security but the media just uses that to score political points for Democrats. That's just a few things, but my point here is that Fareed and Stewart are just lying to deflect from very real Democrat failures that are real issues. If you don't have ideas on governing, what do you do? You fearmonger about a nebulous white conspiracy to hold everyone else down. You scare people with prophecies of climate doom. You accuse your political opponents of being racist, fascist monsters that only your party can save the country from. Well, you do the purposeful distortion field that they create. <laughs> fabric of reality must be fraying due to the sheer density of the irony here. Jon Stewart on CNN to shill for government control by his party on a propaganda show where no opposing views are allowed. Stewart and Fareed are quite literally acting as a distortion field against opposition to CRT, which Fareed just admitted is working. But it works, and by the way, right, because it's emotional. It does it work? Why, I don't Who's know. Who's the president? Well, but I mean, it, it doesn't necessarily work. It gets people upset. It gets them angry. It makes them fearful about threats and, and, uh, and, and hyper, uh, you know, hyperbole. And thus, the problem with white people. Hold on. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop for a second and 
and pose so you can get your memes out. Okay, there we go. Get a good picture for your clickbaits. It gets them angry. It makes them fearful about threats and, and, uh, and, and hyper, uh, you know, hy hyperbole. Ooh, is there a little similarity there? I think there is. This is a man who proudly proclaimed that white people are a problem. What does one typically do when faced with a problem? They find a solution. It doesn't necessarily work. It gets people upset. It gets them angry. It makes them fearful about threats. Gee, you mean like white people are a threat or global warming is a threat or COVID is a threat or people not wearing masks is a threat or the Republicans are a threat or systemic racist systems are a threat? CRT stands for critical race theory, which I think most people know and is derived from critical theory, a Marxist theory that led to the deaths of millions of innocent people during the Mao's revolution. CRT and wokeness are all part of the same so-called diversity, equity, and inclusion cult that has now swept through the Democrat Party and most of our institutions like a mind virus. The sudden widespread belief in this Marxist theory has led to actual racial discrimination against white people that has resulted in actual lawsuits. While ignoring so many issues that... Like, right, it's a kind of real appeal to, a, you know, a, a base that you stoke right. up when... Uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders did the yeah, response to the State of the Union. I noticed she, she kept talking about CRT. She didn't even bother to spell it out. And by the way, all this diversity initiatives and CRT and all those other things are only there because we refuse to actually fix the real problem. The diversity and equity initiatives are a salve. They're a, a, to pacify and mollify because we won't actually do the real thing. Would we won't you? actually dismantle uh, the vestiges of all the systemic racism and all the systemic classism and all the systemic gender issues. We won't actually dismantle that. But what we will do is you can have an office in the building and every few months we're going to have to sit and listen to you talk for like an hour. And so we're good, right? What is this rambling bullshit? Can Stewart define any of the in cult lingo flim flam he just blurted out? I noticed that Stewart didn't have any solutions of his own, only ominously saying that DEI doesn't go far enough, which I remind you has resulted in successful lawsuits for anti-white discrimination. And you really have to wonder how far a guy would go who believes that an entire racial group of people are a problem. All of this stuff could have come out during this train wreck of an interview had they added a guy like Chris Rufo, who Stewart was alluding to, but they're afraid of doing so because they'll get wrecked and then guys like me will spread it far and wide. Okay, so if you spend your money on weather tech products you might want to stop because they sponsored this ideologically subversive country destroying propaganda instead invest some of your money into gold and silver with companies that support us like noble gold thanks a lot for watching if you enjoyed it please hit that like button share subscribe and make sure to leave a comment for the algorithm thanks a lot i'll see you all on the next one